Could Proxima B be another Earth-like planet? These are speculations everyone keeps making. The search for an alternative habitable planet and alien life on other planets is something that humans are fascinated with. There have been various speculations, and the fact that there have been signals coming from Proxima B makes people believe there is more to it. Despite all these signs, we have yet to determine if these are messages from the planet or just echoes of our own scientist signals. Often, these signals end up as echoes. In finding out whether these signals are truly from Proxima B, scientists hope to determine if alien life exists. Recently, the James Webb Telescope detected artificial lights on Proxima B. If you're interested in learning about other planets and our progress in finding alternate life, subscribe to our channel. We make content about outer space and talk about innovations and science. If you like this content, comment below and share this video with your friends. Now, let's go back into our video. Proxima Centauri, about 4.2 light years from our solar system, is a faint dwarf star classified as GZV. Thus, the star is known as Proxima Centauri. The star is the closest to our Sun and solar system. It was named Alpha Centauri by Johann Bayer in 1603. The name came from the star's ascension at noon while several celestial bodies like the Moon and the Sun were in a straight line. Proxima Centauri is also known as Alpha Centauri or Alpha Centaurus. It is a single star system with four named stars in a line. Proxima Centauri is at the center of this system. Apart from the four stars, there are two faint dwarfs, Alpha Centauri A, also called Rigel Centaurus, and Alpha Centauri B. These make up the bulk of the mass but are too faint to be seen by the naked eye. The system is located 2.3 degrees away from the border of the famous Plow Asterism in the constellation of Centaurus. Even though Proxima B is a rocky planet, there is still hope that it might have extraterrestrial life. The search for any other life out there has brought scientists to Proxima B. They believe the similarities to Earth's size and the distance it is from its dwarf star make it a viable option when it comes to planets that can accommodate life. While all these are speculations, there's hope there might be some truth. There is much to learn about Proxima B and the orbit it takes, so stay tuned and find out. You can also check out some of our other content related to extraterrestrials. Do you really believe there's another life out there? Leave a comment down below. What fascinates most people about Proxima B is its similarity to Earth. Studies show that Proxima B is an exoplanet that orbits an M-type star. Its mass is considered to be 1.27 times that of Earth. Besides, Proxima B takes 11.5 days to complete an orbit of its star. It was discovered in 2016, and many scientists are looking into it. Even though Proxima B looks similar to Earth, certain features make it uninhabitable. For one, the planet is too close to its star. As such, it keeps getting extreme ultraviolet radiation from the star, estimated to be hundreds of times more than the radiation we get from the sun. The radiation is so strong that it strips away even the lightest hydrogen molecules over time and does the same to oxygen and nitrogen. While most people might argue that Proxima B should be habitable because it is also the same distance from its star as Earth is from the sun, there is more to it than meets the eye. Distance does not consider whether there is water on the planet. There is also no evidence of an atmosphere conducive to living things. The atmosphere on Earth is what makes it habitable, and not Mars. The right atmosphere makes it possible for climate regulation and a water-friendly surface. It also shields living organisms from hazardous space weather. If you're with us so far and have not subscribed yet, take a second to hit the subscribe button. It makes it easy for us to keep creating content like this that you'll love. Now let's look at why people think that the James Webb Telescope will help us figure out if there is life on Proxima b. The James Webb Telescope was launched in 2018 after being delayed since 2011. Many changes had to be made to ensure it gave accurate images during production. Loeb explained that if a planet like Proxima b could absorb light from its star, it could also re-emit it as infrared light. The James Webb Telescope was explicitly invented to observe infrared light. It can take photos of this light on the surface of a planet and look for patterns that might confirm if the planet has water or an atmosphere. One of the reasons why space telescopes are preferred over ground-based ones is that by being above the atmosphere, they don't have to peer through the shifting air to see deep into space. Therefore, they get a better view of what goes on outside the solar system than most ground telescopes can achieve. The other advantage they come with is that weather changes on Earth do not affect them, and astronomers can be sure they're getting a clear reading. The only downside to having a space telescope is that fixing it is expensive if something goes wrong. There have been cases where a small flaw in a space telescope requires a whole mission into space to fix it. Such costs make observing planets like Proxima be difficult. With the James Webb Telescope, we have no option for rescue. It has been launched over 1.5 million kilometers away, further than any human has ever traveled, so rescue missions are not an option. The James Webb Telescope comes with a larger mirror. 
Because of that, we can see way back to the beginning of the universe, almost 13.7 billion years ago. The further away an object is, the further in time we get to see it. The reason for this is that it takes a while for the light to travel from an object back to us. The ability of the James Webb Space Telescope to see the universe in a longer wavelength in infrared light means we get to see more distant galaxies in our universe and with more certainty than was previously possible. Therefore, observing planets like Proxima b has become easier, and it has pushed the light out of the visible range and into the infrared. Tabor and Loeb have a scale of artificial illumination as a fraction of how the sun illuminates and reflects on the day side of the planet. At 0% on the scale, one would assume that the planet's night side is completely dark with no illumination. At 100%, it means that the planet's night side is just as bright as the day side. There has been a hypothetical civilization on Proxima b using this type of light, and most scientists believe it is similar to the early days on Earth. With the spectrum, the studies show that if the night side of Proxima b reaches an illumination of 5% of the natural day side, then the James Webb Telescope could detect the artificial light by 85%. If the illumination reached 9%, the telescope would detect up to 95% with the James Webb Space Telescope's ability to detect this faint glow, scientists have a unique opportunity to scrutinize Proxima b for signs of intelligent life or even early-stage industrial activity. The presence of artificial illumination is just one potential marker that astronomers use when searching for signs of extraterrestrial civilizations. But what other indicators could suggest life on Proxima b? One of the primary signs would be detecting unusual chemical compositions in the atmosphere. For instance, Earth's atmosphere has a distinct chemical imbalance due to biological processes, with high levels of oxygen and traces of methane. These gases are both byproducts of life forms, plants produce oxygen through photosynthesis, while microbes emit methane. If similar biosignatures were found on Proxima b, it could be a strong indicator that life, however primitive, might be present. The James Webb Telescope will look for these telltale signs by analyzing the starlight that passes through Proxima b's atmosphere during its orbit. By breaking down the light into its spectral components, scientists can determine the exact elements present in the atmosphere. It's similar to how a prism splits sunlight into a rainbow of colors. Each element and compound absorbs light at specific wavelengths, creating a unique pattern, a kind of chemical fingerprint that tells researchers exactly what they're seeing. If we find an unexpected mix of gases, like oxygen and methane together, it would be hard to explain their presence without considering biological processes. Another potential indicator is the detection of large-scale changes on the planet's surface, which could hint at megastructures, settlements, or even industrial activities. With the James Webb's high-resolution capabilities, we can track changes on the surface over time, such as seasonal shifts or potential infrastructure developments. This would require monitoring over several years, but it could eventually build a compelling case for the existence of an advanced civilization. But what if there's more to Proxima b than just chemical signatures or lights? One fascinating possibility is that the planet could harbor lifeforms adapted to its unique environment. Given the high radiation levels, any life on Proxima b would need to have evolved mechanisms for protection. This could mean a subterranean ecosystem, with lifeforms living underground or within the shadowy crevices of rocky outcrops. Alternatively, organisms might have developed thick, radiation-resistant exoskeletons or special pigments to shield themselves from harmful UV rays. As exciting as this prospect is, there's also a darker side to consider. What if the signals we're detecting aren't just benign markers of a peaceful civilization? If Proxima b hosts intelligent life, it's possible they're aware of us too. The artificial light patterns could be deliberate attempts to communicate, or worse, to mislead. Advanced civilizations might use light signatures or chemical markers to mimic signs of life, knowing that other curious species, like us, would come looking. There's also the possibility that Proxima b's inhabitants are remnants of a fallen civilization, and the lights are the flickering remains of once great cities. One scenario that astronomers are cautiously considering is that Proxima b might be in a state of technological decay. If a civilization on the planet achieved a similar level of advancement to mid-20th century Earth but then suffered a catastrophic event, such as nuclear war, environmental collapse, or an asteroid impact, the signals we detect today could be the echoes of their last desperate attempts to survive. Imagine a city half-lit, with automated systems still running despite its inhabitants being long gone. This ghost civilization theory would imply that Proxima b is a world at the twilight of its history, a cautionary tale of how civilizations can rise and fall. However, these theories are purely speculative at this point. To uncover the truth, astronomers need more data, and that's exactly what the James Webb Telescope is designed to provide.
If artificial light signatures are confirmed, the next step would be to direct our most powerful radio telescopes, such as the Square Kilometer Array (SKA), to listen for any radio transmissions. A steady, repeating signal or a modulated pattern would be the final piece of evidence suggesting intelligent life. On the other hand, if we detect no artificial lights or unusual atmospheric compositions, Proxima b might still hold secrets in its depths. We know that life can persist in the most extreme conditions. Take Earth, for example, microbes thrive in toxic volcanic vents, deep-sea trenches, and even in high-radiation zones like Chernobyl. Proxima b's surface may be barren, but who's to say that life hasn't found a way to survive underground or in isolated pockets shielded from the worst of its star's flares? What's even more compelling is that Proxima b is just the beginning. With its proximity to Earth and relatively Earth-like features, it's our best bet for finding life outside our solar system. But dozens of other exoplanets have been identified in the habitable zones of their stars. The discoveries we make about Proxima b could set the stage for a new era of exploration, guiding our search for life across the galaxy. But what happens if we do find conclusive evidence of life, intelligent or not? The implications would be staggering. Confirming extraterrestrial life would force us to rethink our place in the cosmos, reshaping everything from philosophy to religion. We'd have to consider how to approach a potential neighbor on a cosmic scale. Should we attempt to communicate? If Proxima b is home to a thriving civilization, do we have a responsibility to reach out, or would that be too dangerous? For now, these questions remain unanswered. The James Webb Telescope is peering across 4.2 light-years, searching for answers. With each observation, we come closer to uncovering the truth about Proxima b and whether we are truly alone in the universe. One day, perhaps soon, the faint flicker of light from that distant world might tell us we have company, or that we've been seen. So, what do you think? Are we on the brink of a monumental discovery, or is Proxima b just another lifeless rock in the vast expanse of space? Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and if you're as captivated by the possibilities of alien worlds as we are, make sure to subscribe for more deep dives into the mysteries of the universe. Until next time, keep looking up, because one day, the stars might just look back.